Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today an import unboxing of high quality guppies. Grab yourself your healthy snack and your healthy beverage. Stand by. Alright fishy folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Michael from Michael's Fish Room. Uh, and if you're not new here, you know that I breed quite a bit of guppies and I've also been importing now for about three years. And the reason I have to import is I simply can't make enough guppies to sell. The, the demand for high quality, healthy guppies from Michael's Fish Room uh, is, is pretty high. And I can't make them fast enough to sell. So I had to import. Now I do still breed guppies. I still buy guppies from local breeders that breed for me. Um, but, you know, we have to import to supply the guppies. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of these high quality guppies. And before we do that, I just want to uh, talk about the video I released uh, Saturday the 10th. And uh, it was a, a fish room tour, but I did talk about a Facebook group called Sir, That's a Cup, Not a Fish Tank. And uh, I mean, I was in there clearly trolling them because they're crazy. But they are so toxic. I actually had to leave before they kicked me out, which has never happened. I've never left the Facebook group before they kicked me out. But they're so toxic. I mean, too toxic for me, which you know, you know me. Anyway, um, they've threatened me. They've come into uh, my uh, Facebook group, Michael's Fish Room, which is the dumbest thing they could do because all you guys are slamming them. I don't even have to. Um, they're commenting on the video, which is the best because the comments help the algorithm. So thank you. Uh, but they're still not making any sense. The, the whole thing came from Taco's Tank. They said he needs a minimum of a 75. Some people said a 125. Like, he's got plenty of room to swim and turn around. And the water parameters are 0, 0, 20 or less. I don't, I don't know what the problem is. He's healthy. He's happy. He gets high quality food. He gets water changes every day. 10% at least gets changed every day because of the auto water change system. Nobody could tell me why he needs a bigger tank. But if you want to check out the video, uh, I'll link it here. And if you want to check out the Facebook group, please do. And uh, if you want to comment, go ahead. If not, you know, they, they're saying that I made people go and comment. And all I did was say, go and take a look. Comment if you want. All right. Without further ado... Let's get to the unboxing. All right, fishy folks, let's open it together. This is a uh, extra large box. It weighs 53 pounds, and there's a bunch of guppies in there. And to be honest, I don't remember what's in there. We got the knife. It identifies as a man. Its pronouns are he, him. And uh, that's just life. Now, normally, I do this beforehand so it's easier, but I figured you guys might want to see it. So. We got the cardboard, and then there's the styrofoam box that's also taped. So, if you're interested in importing guppies, you do have to remember the trans shipper. My trans shipper is in California, and uh, I actually really like them. They do a great job communicating, and they take care of the guppies or whatever fish. I have. All right, here we go. We got some Korean newspaper, and I don't I don't know what this is. I mean, it's a cold pack, but I don't know what the point is. It's, it's small. Yeah, they feel fine. So here's what we're gonna do with this Korean newspaper. We're gonna save it, and if you order fish from Michael'sFishRoom.com, it will be used as filler because that's recycling. And uh, I don't have to throw it away. All right, Tiger Half Moon females. I will, of course, show these to you. Tiger Half Moon, we haven't had them in Michael's Fish Room for a while. Dumbo Dark Dragons, because uh, these have quickly becoming the best seller on the website. Green Blue Dragons, also another big seller on the website. Red Dragons. There's a theme here, folks. There's a theme here. All right. Green Dragons. Blue Moscow. These were the DOAs from the last order. 
purple mosaic. I've been out of stock on these for a while. I don't know what these are. Galaxy. It says Galaxy Blue Tail females. Let's see if we have Galaxy Blue Tail males. Galaxy. Oh, you know what? Galaxy Blue Tail. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Galaxy Blue Tail. Look, it says GBT. That's pretty good. All right, what else? I think that's it. I think that's it. All right, folks. I'm going to change the camera around. Hey. And uh, just show you what I do. And then uh, we'll show you the fish. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. The first thing I do is I open one of the bags. These are the purple mosaics. These are males. I always open the females first, if I, I try to. And then I look and see if there are any little dollar signs floating in the bag. And this one has dollar signs. So I have to set up another fry tank. Now, it's really not a big deal. It just takes up space on my workbench. Uh, depending on how many there are, I may use a dip and pour. I may use another uh, one of these shoebox. I also may take the guppies that are in here and put them in their main tank because they are big enough. So I have to decide. <coughs> I'm fine. So what I'll do is I will snip open the bag, pour the guppies into this net with this fancy little holder that a subscriber sent me, and uh, then I will empty or throw the bag into this bucket. And when I'm done, I sanitize everything, because you never know. Uh, you may be saying to yourself, why, why are they yellow, Mike? Well, what, what's going on? Well, uh, they put Indian almond leaf extract uh, in the water to help the guppies. Now, look how much water is in this little bag. Do you think those people in the group, sir, that's a cup, not a fish tank, would like this? I don't know. All right, folks. I'm going to uh, take care of these and then uh, we'll be back. Stand by. Well, all right, fishy folks, the box is empty. Uh, we have, there are actually four bags with babies. I missed two. This is a uh, purple mosaic and this is dark dragon. Uh, unfortunately, we had four DOAs. Not really a big deal. I'll get them replaced. Um, this is how much water was in all those little bags. Not even five gallons. Probably about five gallons, because I did spill some, you know. Those are all the leftover little bags. Uh, my workbench is even more of a disaster, but let's take a look. This is, keep in mind, I just opened these. But look how spectacular these blue galaxies look. <coughs> There's fry in here. I missed this. The fry that we're in, you can see there's a couple over there. They should be fine in here because of the, the Java moss. Then we have the red dragons. I can't believe how stunning these females look. I've made the mistake of sending two females instead of a pair before. And I know my guppies, they are so sexy. Uh, but, you know, the, the females look just as good as the boys in this case. Over here we have the tiger half moons. Looking good, great looking tails. Uh, we're just gonna come over here. Over here we have the purple mosaics. Uh, they've already, I mean, I can't believe how much they've already colored up since I've even just put them in the tank. Uh, up here we have the blue uh, dragons. They were listed as blue green dragons and I was really hoping there were gonna be green dragons, but they're really blue dragons. Not even blue green dragons, which is fine. I need blue dragons, but I like the green dragons. And then here we have the dark dragons, which are quickly becoming my favorite guppy. So, folks, that does it for now. I am going to let them get acclimatized for a few hours and then we'll show you them uh, in their, you know, when they look better. And I will start my quarantine procedure. Stand by for awesomeness. All right, fishy folks, here we are. The next day, I don't know, 12, 14 hours later, it doesn't really matter. These fish colored up immediately and look 
spectacular. These are the Galaxy Blue Tails. There's one I just saw that has a split in the tail. That'll go into the Mutt Guppy tank. But, I mean, look at how stellar these guys look. Oh, my God. Amazing. Amazing. Here are the Red Dragons. Really not much to say. They are just also amazing, spectacular, beautiful, whatever adjective you like. Then over here we have the Tiger Half Moons. Uh, these don't do it for me. I know other people like them, but they don't do it for me. But that's okay. That's fine. You don't have to like everything I like. I don't have to like everything you like. It's okay. All right. Two, three more strains. Sorry. We got the purple mosaics over here. They color it up really nice as well. Really great tail patterns. And the females have nice tail patterns as well. All right, folks. Switching over to this side. These are the blue dragons. Again, these were labeled as blue green dragons, but they're pretty much blue dragons. Um, I really like this one up in the front that had the dorsals had that red in it. That was really nice. I might, I might take that out. That's pretty hot. All right, sorry. And then the dark dragons. These aren't new in the fish room, obviously, but uh, you know, big seller, big seller. Now you might be saying to yourself, Mike, the, the water looks kind of cloudy. What's going on? Well, I just put 30 guppies in this tank. So there is a little bacteria bloom. Not really concerned. Uh, you know, we got the auto water change system going on, and there's plenty of beneficial bacteria in those filters. So uh, they should be fine. Like I said, not worried. All right, fishy folks, that does it for the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget the Keystone Clash is coming up the weekend of September 23rd in Pennsylvania. And uh, if you're anywhere, I would say within three hours of the location, check out the keystone clash is going to be huge lots of vendors kg aquatics will be there super sixes will be there a ton of other great vendors uh and there's there's stuff to do sad friday saturday and sunday is the auction so check it out uh keystoneclash.com great great local uh show that's becoming quite large so if you're interested in going to it and buying stuff you can certainly pre-order on my website, michaelsfishroom.com, and use promo code THE CLASH to get 15% off your pre order. Guys, I hope you like this tour, uh, sorry, this unboxing, and let me know in the comments below if you're looking for any specific kind of guppies. I would love to get them in if I can. Have a great day, everyone. Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back to another video. Today, an unboxing. Uh, these, why am I, this is way before the intro. Ugh.